Hello Cupcakes, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, hello. Um, this video I am super excited to film. This collection has been very highly anticipated but I will be talking about the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie collab. I am super, super, super duper excited because Desi and Katie are like my two favorite YouTubers aside from Jack and Hill but those two they're my two favorite YouTubers. So enough talking, let's just jump right in. I haven't opened the package or anything. Um, this is what the box looks like. It just says Dose of Colors on it and it is the same nude packaging like their packaging. But I'm sure you guys already know what the packaging looks like. I always hate when this happens. Like my box says fragile on it and it has like so many dents and dings. I swear if anything in this box is broken, I'm gonna cry. So when you first open the box, it says Desi X Katie on the lid back here and there is their little postcard dang they look they look popping alright here is the front of the postcard and here is the back they slayed this collection it is so so cute I did get the eyeshadow so here's like a little eyeshadow guide is what it says it's a how to use them since two of the shadows are meant to be used wet and the other two you can use them dry Suze and Harpoon are the two wet shadows and Turbo Sun and Noli are just the regular shadows inside the box they have the Dose of Colors Desi Ace Katie paper I'm gonna try super hard not to rip anything because I want to keep this forever Alright, and they just carefully packaged everything in here. I did get every single item from the collection because I needed it. Like, these two YouTubers are, like, my YouTubers. They're my family, basically. I live with them. They just don't know it. So I'm so excited. I, I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay, so I've never bought anything from Dose of Colors directly. This is my first purchase from them. Um, I did do an Ulta haul not too long ago, and I bought two liquid lipsticks just to try out the liquid lipsticks. The lip color that I'm wearing right now is Stone by Dose of Colors. So I just wanted to test out the formula before I, like, I got the package and I was like oh I hate it but I know I wasn't gonna hate it it's Desi and Katie hello all right so the packaging is like this nude bronzy boxing it just says dose of colors on it and then on the top of the box it has their signatures you can't really see it but oh there we go um, it says luster Lux and Desi Perkins so cool so I'm gonna be going over the eyeshadows first wow this packaging is super bomb like look at this that is to die for if i could live in this packaging like have all my wallpaper like this every phone case i ever owned my life my shoes if i could have this glittery sparkly material forever that's what i would want to live in this is what i want make my casket in this fabric <laughs> well that's bad i shouldn't be joking like that when you open the compact it has a mirror right here on the bottom this one's noli this one's Suze, this one's Turbo Sun, and this one's Harpoon. If you don't know, they named all of their eyeshadows after their dog's nicknames, which I thought was really, really cute. That's literally something that I would do. They said to use these shadows with your fingers, like that's how they would recommend it. But I'm also going to do um, finger swatches and a swatch with a brush, just so that way we can get a little idea of how it swatches with a brush. Alright, comparing um, the size of the eyeshadow quad, if you have like a MAC compact, this is how the two compare. They're both about the same size. It's basically like a standard eyeshadow quad, nothing too special. It's not like an oversized quad and you're not getting a small amount of product for what you're paying. This quad is meant for you to use it as like lid colors. They wanted to make a palette that had really outstanding shadows that you could just go ahead and pop on the lid since you already have like your typical crease colors and your transition shades that you normally use. So I thought that was pretty smart because all of these shadows are super pigmented and just like bam in your face. I'm going to go ahead and start the swatches. I'm going to go with Suze Suze first. Suze is the wet formula. So they just said to take your finger and dip it in some water which I have handy right here and you go ahead and swirl it in Suze and then magic is supposed to happen. It's like a really shiny gold. It's literally like a liquid gold type of shadow. Now I'm going to go with the color Noli. Noli is a dry formula so you just go ahead and throw your finger in the color 
and swatch it. Oh, these are gonna be bad swatches, Lord Jesus. All right, well, we're just gonna pretend like I swatched that really, really good. This is, once again, the color Noli, and it's like a bronzy gold compared to Suze. Suze is more of like a champagne-y bright gold, and then Noli is like a bronze gold. These next two shades I am in love with. They're so unique, so I can't wait to play with these two specifically. Turbosan is like a bluey, purpley brown. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's really, really nice. That's Turbosan. That is such a unique color. It kind of reminds me of the MAC Blue Brown pigment, but in a pressed version. So that's really cool. I also want to add that these shadows, just like my first impression of swatching them, they're so buttery and they go on so smooth. I'm really happy that this is like the formula of them because I don't have to work too hard to get any pigmentation out of it. I'm going to be saying that I'm excited a lot about this collection because I am excited. Who wouldn't be excited? All right, and then the last shadow out of the quad is Harpoon. And Harpoon is like a gold green. And this color is another one that you're supposed to use wet. So you just go ahead and take your finger again and dip it in some water, swirl it around in the color Harpoon. All right, and here is Harpoon. Oh boy. Do you see that? Do you see that? Probably not, look, no, cause it's out of focus. These are the most beautiful eyeshadows, but like I said, I'm really excited about using Turbosan and Harpoon. I'm really happy that they came out with two highlights to complement both of their skin tones, like a lighter skin tone and a darker skin tone. I got both. It doesn't matter what it's complementing. It's going to give me a glow. All right, the packaging for the highlights are the same like the eyeshadow quads. It's that really glittery packaging. So we're going to swatch Fuego first. <gasps> no! No! Oh my god. I swear I'm gonna have. Ah! No! What is this? Are you kidding? Oh my god. My heart is broken. No! Alright, I'm gonna try my best to swatch it without messing this up even more. Oh, I'm so angry. I knew this was gonna happen because my box was too messed up. I swear, if the other highlight is broken too, you know what? Hold on. This is not okay. Mm. Alright, so the other highlight is okay. It's just the highlight in Fuego that's all effed up. So, whatever. I'm still gonna swatch it. So, this is Fuego. Dang, that's a nice highlight though. Broken or not, it still swatched pretty good. I love gold highlights, so this one, why couldn't the other one break? Like, this is the one that I knew I was going to probably use the most. The other highlight, Mirame, is supposed to be like a rose gold highlight. I don't really mind rose gold, I'm more of a gold highlight person, but... A highlight is a highlight. It's still going to make you glow. This is what it looks like inside the pan. Sorry I couldn't do this for you guys with the other one. And that is... Mirame. They're both really blinding. I love that. I love a good blinding highlight. I'm not for the subtle highlight. I want my highlight to show. I want you to see that I'm wearing highlight. I want you to see that I'm doused in highlight these formulas are a nice soft touch formula if you're familiar with the laura geller gilded honey that's like more of a hard formula they're not like that they're really buttery and they go on smooth and they're smooth to the touch now going in with the lip colors they came out with two liquid lipsticks two regular lipsticks and with the lip gloss the lip gloss is called over the top and it's in this beautiful gold packaging it has gold reflex in there, but they say it's not um, really chunky glitter. And I do like the applicator that it comes with. This is one of those flat top ones that it's flat on both sides. I love that because you can really get in around the edges and on the corners of your lips. I will do a close-up of all the swatches of the lip colors and stuff on my hands. So for right now, just bear with me. 
So the gloss, it is a little sticky, but it's not super sticky to the point that you get like that line in between your lips. I'm just tapping it against my skin to see how sticky it is and what the consistency and the formula of it is. But first impression wise, um, the glitter, the glitter, the gloss is really nice. The glitter is kind of throwing me off a little bit, so I don't know how um, I'll like that. But so far, so good. As for their liquid lipsticks, they came out with a bright red and a dark purple. The dark purple is definitely up my alley because I love dark lips. Okay, here's the packaging for the liquid lipstick. It is a little different from the normal liquid lipsticks that Dose of Color sells. It has that velvety soft touch packaging, which I love. It's similar to the NARS packaging. It's so like chic and sleek with like the gold and the nude really nice packaging this is the color hot fire it's a super bright orangey red it's literally hot fire this is the applicator to it it's the same applicator like in the normal dose of color liquid lipsticks i do like this color i feel like hot fire is going to be one of those colors that is going to be really suitable for any skin tone whether you're really pale or medium to super dark this color is going to look really good on you since it has those orange undertones, it just brings out a little bit more pizzazz to your look. It does not go on streaky, but you, I think you'll probably have to put on maybe two coats to make it look fully opaque. The next color is called Savage, not Savage, Savage. They even put the little accent mark on it so that way you know that it's Savage, not Savage. Sauvage. And it's the same packaging like the other liquid lipstick. This is the color. It's just a really vampy purple with undertones of like a burgundy in it. Literally screams out my name. Like, Janelle, wear me, wear me. And same thing for this liquid lipstick. It does not go on streaky or anything like that. But like I said, I think you'll have to put on maybe two coats to just make it fully opaque. Next are the two regular lipsticks. They have stated that it's like a matte but not super matte finish so i'm assuming it's gonna be like a satin they came out with two nudes one of them is called more creamer please and the other one is no shade i was a little nervous when ordering these two regular lipsticks because i think i'm darker than both of them so i was like mm, nudes for me it's probably gonna make me look like i have like super chapped lips I believe No Shade is the lighter one of the two, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch that one first. This is the packaging for the lipstick. It has the same soft touch like the liquid lipsticks. When you pull off the cap on the bullet, it has their signatures on it as well, Luster Lux and Desi Perkins. This is what No Shade looks like. It's really peachy. So far, I think I could make it work if I put maybe a darker lip liner under first like as a base and then go in with this lipstick it's not a bad color i do like it but i'll have to be careful with how much i put on and how i blend it out and then the last lipstick is more creamer please if you know them, if you watch their snaps and stuff, they always talk about more creamer in their Starbucks coffee. They call it like an NC35. They really put in their personality into this collab, which makes me so happy because like they weren't fake with it. They were just being themselves, made products that were like insiders that we all get. And it makes it feel like you're like a part of this creation as well. Like, oh, I know why they named that this. Anyways, this is more creamer, please. It doesn't look darker than the other one in the tube, I don't think, or at least not by much. They're very similar, but I'm assuming when you swatch them, they'll obviously look different. The bottom is more creamer, please, and the top one is no shade. So no creamer, please, is definitely going to be a nude that I could wear a little bit more suitable for my skin tone. Like, it'll literally blend in and it'll be like a really good nude. All right, so that's it for this collection. I'm really happy overall with everything that I got, except for, of course, my broken highlight, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. I'll probably contact customer service. Florida weather literally never plays. Why is it storming so bad? This is not okay. If you saw how ugly it is outside right now, you'd be like, Dang girl, I feel you. If you got anything from the collection, go ahead and comment that down below. I want to see what your opinions are on those products as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys.